What is up everybody welcome back for another video of Diablo 3 and today I will be showing you all the pet locations there are. So keep watching and enjoy. So the first place will be in Act 1 the old runes. They want to go the same way as I am doing right now. Then you want to enter Leoric's Passage, and there is the first pet location. The next location is in Act 1, Royal Crypt. You want to walk all the way back, and this is the next spawning location somewhere in between. Over here, there we go. Needs more time. Then we have Act One, Northern Highlands. There are two or three spawning locations. One over here. If it didn't spawn over there, then you want to go up the stairs. Oh, in this case the goblin is over here. I will show you the other places also. We go up the stairs. The next spawning location will be over here. If it didn't spawn over there, then you can also go up. Here's another stairs, and the next spawning location will be right over here. The next location will be Southern Highlands. The goblin can spawn in the map, but normally you want to search for the cave. In the cave you want to search through the whole map, because they can spawn in cave level 1, and in level 2, or in both. Let's move to the cave. So we want to search the whole map. There is the next goblin. The next location will be in Act 1, the Festering Roots. You want to search through the whole map. Our next location is in Act 1, Cemetery of the Forsaken. Keep in mind, when you find 4 doors in this map, you can get a transmog for your sword. But 
you want to enter the default crypt to get the goblin. We also have another location in Act 1, in the Halls of Agony. You also want to search through this whole map. We also have another place in Act 1, Cathedral. And you also want to search in this whole map. The last location has a lot of pylons which will spawn a lot of goblins. This is also the place where you can find a lot of blue goblins. But keep in mind you can get the live more pet by killing Lily White. Just like I do in this video. But I already have it so it doesn't drop again. The next location will be in Act 2, Ancient Waterway, that you want to enter Eastern Channel Level 1 and you want to search through the whole map. The next one will be in Western Channel Level 1. You also want to search Western Channel Level 2 because both places can spawn a goblin. There's the second one. The next location will be in Act 2, Archies of Salt and Coal. And you want to enter the Storm Halls. You 
also want to search through this whole map. The next location will be in Act 3, the core of Aret. And you want to search the whole map. In this case, I found it at the entrance. We also have another location in Act 3, Tower of the Dam. You want to search in Level 1 and Level 2. The next location will be in Act 3, the Keep Depths, level 3. And you also want to search through this whole map. The next location will be in Act 3, Wreckers Crossing. In this map you want to walk to the other side of the bridge. The next location is in Act 3, the Bridge of Corsic. You want to search for the Frost Cave and you want to search level 1 and level 2 because both can spawn a goblin. If that cave didn't spawn then just move on to the next one. If your cave did spawn then you are lucky because you have the possibility to get a crafting material for the Spectrum Transmog. We also have another place in Act 3, Battlefields. You can search this map, but you can also enter Fortified Bunker Level 1. You want to search the whole map, and you also want to search in Bunker Level 2. The next location is in Act 4, Gardens of the Hope First Tire. And keep in mind this is also the place for the Falcon Wings. You can find the Falcon Wings by finding the Mysterious Chest. If you found the Mysterious Chest then you got a 100% drop rate. The next location will be in Act 5, Pandonium Fortress Level 1. It is a pretty big map, but you have the chance to get two goblins in this map.
This is the first goblin. And there's the second goblin. The next location is in Act 5 and you want to go to Overgrown Runes. And you want to walk this way. And you want to enter Blood Mars. You also want to search this whole map and just keep in mind when the goblin will spawn it will normally be a pet goblin. Also keep your eyes open on the chest because you can find a mysterious chest for the crossbow of Corvus Transmog. Just like I did in this game. So this is the end of the video, if you like this video then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, share my video on Twitter, Instagram, I don't know, just share it, it will help me a lot and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and then we'll see you in the next video, aight?